building an electric Cobra video 15 finally get some tires on this thing uh, all the way around and I've uh, been able to spin those up a little bit now under 24 volts so things are checking out there pretty well so I've added a few more batteries now we get the uh, up to 72 volt pack which should be enough to to drive the car for uh, you know some low speeds maybe up to 30 miles an hour or so uh, I've been adding the tubing in here for the, the liquid cooling system you can see and that's working its way down to the radiator and also let's get down here so you get the fans hooked up on the back of the radiator as well so still have the wiring to do for that I uh, still have the wiring to do for the, the liquid pump down in there and also for the blower and for the blower I've been working on uh, these metal bands with the, the tubing in it um, just welded that up yesterday the tubing and cut that in so these bands are going to wrap around the front of the motor where these bands used to be which are providing uh, airflow for the fan inside the motor so since the car will be running <clears throat> potentially at a, at a low RPM for lower speeds and maybe insufficient cooling for the motor uh, that's the whole purpose for putting the uh, extended blower in there uh, to force feed air into the motor to keep it cool at low speeds so a little more work to do to weld up that last piece of angle iron on there and then uh, I should be ready for a test fitting and of course at that point I'll be able to tie in, uh, use a piece of this uh, aluminum duct work to tie it all together. So that's about it for the moment. Uh, hopefully more progress pretty soon. Hoping to get those batteries uh, hooked up, finished up. Uh, the cabling is started on them but uh, not quite finished. So I'll get those hooked up and maybe give this thing a, a little roll around the yard soon.